Twice a week, Wu Zhu Liang takes his family on a sad pilgrimage. Through the parched landscape of this remote and impoverished corner of southwest China. In a small elevated clearing, we approach the final resting place of Wu's 15 year old son. Wu Wenyong was buried just a month ago after succumbing to cancer. Beside his grave, an array of simple offerings fruit, biscuits, and a paper cup of his favorite sweets. <laughs> the boy's mother, Shi Kui Ying, is inconsolable. She's haunted by memories of her son's final painful hours. <laughs> Wu Wenyong had two types of cancer, leukemia and thymoma, a rare cancer of the thymus gland in the chest. These pictures were taken just days before he died. The Nanpan River is close to the field where the young Wu would help his parents tend rice. He would often paddle in these waters, which Mr. Wu says became tainted yellow by pollution. These subsistence farmers use the same water to irrigate the now bone dry soil. It's a practice that still goes on. Is it dangerous to use water from the river? <laughs> The village of Xinglong is in the middle of a large industrial park. Heavy industry is all around. But the real danger is here. Overlooking the Wu's field is a ramshackle warehouse that conceals a vast pile of chromium waste. Mr. Wu says that when it rains, runoff from the toxic slag heap leaches into the river. Like his parents, the young Wu Wenyong was oblivious to the dangers. Did you know it was dangerous for him to play here? Chromium is listed as a carcinogen by the World Health Organization. In large doses, it can have lethal effects on both humans and animals alike. What is chromium and how dangerous is it to, to, to health? Chromium is a heavy metal uh, substance uh, uh, widely used in uh, industries like leather tanning uh, or electroplating. Uh, it is a known carcinogen uh, to the scientific community uh, around the world. Uh, many uh, occupational disease and uh, even cancer is linked uh, to this very toxic heavy metal. Ma Tianji of Greenpeace has been to Xinglong to investigate the chromium waste dump and its effects on two adjoining villages. We, we did find 
uh, cancer victims uh, in those uh, villages. How many? Uh, there are, we met several of them, but uh, what we were told is that th there were 20 to 30 cases uh, in these villages recently. Now, would you classify that as being serious? Definitely, it's a serious uh, health uh, hazard uh, for the villages uh, near the, the pollution facility. Ma carried out tests on the river water, close to the factory where the chromium waste is still being produced. It was very serious. Uh, when, we, when we test the water uh, near uh, the, the polluting site, what we found that it's about 200 times higher than the national standard. 200? Yes. So by simply touching the water could make your skin it itching uh, because uh, chromium I is known for its effect on the skin. So uh, it's, a, it's a very, very serious problem. Adding to their pain, the Wu family is now broke. The couple got $150 from the local government, but that was dwarfed by their son's medical bills. In all, they've borrowed more than $15,000 from relatives and other villagers. Now they face losing their home too. Its name in English means prosperous. But Xinglong feels more like the village of the damned. I meet Wang Jinxiang, who's built a shrine to her middle-aged daughter. She died just four days earlier. Soon the people are lining up to tell their stories. This man lost his father to liver cancer. Another woman tells me she's lost her son. Do you think that your husband's cancer was caused by pollution from nearby factories? More than a thousand kilometers to the north is the village of Shidian. Here, too, untreated industrial waste is pumped directly into rivers. The fetid flow used to irrigate farmers' fields. It's here I meet investigative journalist Deng Fei. He calls these places cancer villages. He's identified more than 500 across the country. Yet China's media is no longer interested, he says. The Chinese government says it's making serious efforts to clean up pollution, 
in the cities, it may be having some success. But often the most toxic industries are simply moved to rural areas where regulations are lax. Chinese farmers are now four times more likely to die from liver cancer than the global average. Whose side is the government on? But the backlash may have begun. In a remarkable display of defiance, thousands of demonstrators confronted riot police in the northern city of Dalian. The protest forced the government to relocate a chemical factory, a rare victory for people power in China. The village of Xinglong has seen protests too, and you can sense the anger mounting once more. We wanted to meet representatives of the chromium factory, but in the end, they came to us. The warehouse security guard had been watching its film and reported back to the factory's managers. He's told us to leave. So I presume he's going to call the police. Ni hao. So, Jamie, they're a bit worried, are they? Yeah. Do they want us to go? We took the family home. But then our car was stopped. This guy wants to ask us who we are. Okay. Why we are here. And he's threatening us. He wants us to go to the factory now. Okay. And then, okay? Yeah, we great. Go? Yeah, thank you. It was clear it was going to be difficult for us to leave without doing what they wanted. We were escorted into the plant's offices. An hour later, we were allowed to go. Inside, they were very pleasant but they wanted to know whether we had official permission from Beijing to be here. We don't. And they said if we came back tomorrow, there might be problems. So subtle intimidation and a reminder of just how sensitive this issue is. The company won't comment, so we don't know how, when, or even if it'll ever dispose of the chromium. This pile of uh, chromium waste has been there for two decades now, and. Uh, we don't know when it will go away. The government is, is trying to find a way to get, get rid of this huge pile of uh, historically accumulated uh, waste, but they, they are struggling actually at this moment. It leaves the Wu family feeling powerless. But without their land, the Wu family will be left with nothing. Like the others in Xinglong, they have no choice but to live side by side with the chromium pile they believe killed their son.